So hey guys, what's up? How you doing? My name is Laura KG Cano and if this is your first time, thank you so much for coming to my channel. Please don't forget to subscribe, like and share this video as usual. Thank you so much. Um, okay, so this video is something I've been wanting to do um, since um, my birthday. I, I just wanted to do it because I wanted to um, correct some impressions and you know make a few things clear right so this would be like a regular laura video ah shout out to them this is this is the most serious i can actually get so i want to be as serious as possible so yeah um welcome back to my channel this video is to address a few nigerians so if you're not nigerians you probably don't know about the story but if you're nigerian you know where i'm coming from you know when they say um avoid the urge to shalaye and people will be like oh don't explain yourself you don't need to explain yourself you don't need to explain to anybody people don't believe this is not about explaining to people so this is not like an explanation video this is a video to like um um correct a few impressions right um so there are certain things you have to shalaye for and this one i would shalaye um a lot because it involves my husband so right? on the 15th of march my birthday a very happy day for me i woke up really happy and excited because i got a, an amazing amazing gift from my husband and he has been you know holding this gift for a long time so i got an amazing gift and excitedly like i always do things that i'm excited about i posted it on instagram i shouldn't have done that i think that was just the biggest mistake i did i shouldn't have posted at least the amount he gave me because look listen now i understand that when god blesses you and blesses you beyond people's imagination your blessing looks like a lie it looks like something that you you formed or something that you fabricated just to impress people i have absolutely no reason to impress anybody i could have said oh my husband gave me a millionaire i could have said if i wanted to exaggerate if i wanted to you know lie about it i mean i read psychology i would you know know what people will believe easily i could have said he gave me a millionaire i could have said he gave me two millionaire i could have said he gave me if i wanted to exaggerate 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 it that people will believe i would have said ah he gave me five million naira or he gave me ten million naira but i get i stated the exact amount i got because and on my birthday i did not check any um blog I did not check. I was just posting pictures i post pictures and get out of instagram because i had visitors i had people who were in my house i had my parents call me i had you know my in-laws call me i was just i was busy we we're making food it was just a busy day and then susan came with the car came with just it was just a crazy busy day that i was you know very excited about so i didn't know that thing was a buzz i didn't know it was happening until the following day <laughs> my sisters never tell me because they didn't think it was a big deal so until the following day and i, I started you know i went on instagram and i started seeing all these comments about you lying about 20 million lying about this lying about that, 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 that. and i was like okay and then i heard i did not go there was a certain blog that had over six thousand comments about my post but i did not go there like i would not go to this blog to i would never i don't visit blogs because i don't want to die early i don't want to read the comments i don't want to read people's opinion about me if you say it on my page i can defend myself but when you say it on these blogs i can't so i don't read it at all um so apparently they said the blog had over six thousand comments and then you know half of them were saying that my gifts from my husband was a lie and then i exaggerated because i wanted to, 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 to. it was just a lot of um arguments and i was like that was when it actually dawned on me. I would have not, I shouldn't have posted it. That was like, oh yeah, I would have said it gave me a gift. And I'm why shouldn't I though? Like, why shouldn't I tell people how amazing this man has been to me or how amazing it is to me and how amazing the gift he gave me was? You know, why should I hide any, why should I hide it from people when somebody does that kind of amazing stuff to me even if the person is my husband even my if, if my sister had um sent me that money i would have announced it too but that's a lesson that i would you know take away from this i wouldn't announce any any blessing that might sound like a lie or i could still announce it it's crazy it depends it depends on my mood you know i could still say you know but um this just brings me to you know want, wanting to clarify impressions For shall I, this is the reason i'm shall I? <laughs> So a few years ago, um, obviously my husband was called out by his in-law that said, you know, he 
I don't know just she just said a bunch of nasty stuff about him and people flew with that image so to a lot of people my husband isn't doing well financially at all and is not capable of giving me that kind of amount of money and that's why the thing blew up and that's because they've had this particular image about him for a long time that he and I did not, you know, um, change the impression. We did not correct it. Another example is people actually think my husband has been married before, before me. And that thing, again, is something I did not uh, um, talk about for a long time. I did not change that impression. So people flew with that. Before me, my husband was not married at all. He was not a divorcee. He wasn't married. He was a single man who had never been married before. And we got married. Even if he was a divorcee at that time, I would have still married him. Like... I don't have a problem with my divorcee. I, as long as I vibe with you, as long as I gel with you, I'm good to go. That's an impression I really, really want to correct. My husband is not on any government benefit. My, come on. He owns a house in London. Like, come on. Come on. I, I know some of you are gloating. You're like, ah, yes. Ah, thank God he doesn't have money. Thank God he's not this so that this girl will not. Like, you guys act like oh if i oh imagine if she had married a billionaire would not hear what yeah what for what who am i trying to impress you i don't even know you i don't know you like why are you mad like he's an amazing man he's a businessman he has his own that's that's that so if you believe that that's your problem if you don't believe that's your problem well, my husband is good he's financially okay he's not a billionaire but he's financially okay and soon <laughs> he'll be a billionaire <laughs> so that you guys can you know let him rest but uh, i had to just do this because i mean that man means a lot to me and i heard that he's been dragged and he's been um a lot of crazy stuff i've been said about him he he doesn't read comments he doesn't even know if the blogs are existing that it's not, it's not on the internet it's not on the internet not an internet person but like i just feel like i needed to um correct their impression i'm not telling you to stop gloating and you know being happy about you know someone's husband being dragged but when it comes to my husband i would correct an impression um usually i don't even reply i don't even talk about um any controversy i am in but this particular one i will talk about it because it involves someone who totally is um um not on the internet is a private citizen he i just i just said what i said out of excitement usually i don't you know talk about this because really nobody cares but um i just felt like this has lingered for too long people have actually you know swallowed this and that's why people think that it's almost impossible for him to give me the gift to give to give to me so you sh um when god blesses you when god blesses you beyond people's imagination they tend to think it's a lie and then when people have actually had sad impressions about you there's nothing you would do that would make them you know think otherwise except you say something so like, yeah that's it thank you for watching please don't forget to subscribe like and share <laughs> i love you so much from the bottom of my heart that is if you have subscribed to my channel if you haven't you better do <laughs> bye Mwah.